I'd like to welcome you all to another Kali Tutors tutorial session. In this tutorial session, we'll be focusing on EUP 1501. The objective of this tutorial session is to show you how to access MyLab for the first time. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to get access to the latest videos the moment that we upload them. If you'd like to contact us, please use the number provided on your screen. So step number one on the process is that you must get an email from Pearsons. Uh, you'll get the email once the university has created an account for you. You are not supposed to do anything for the account to be created. By virtue of registering for this module, uh, the university will create an account for you. This is different for different groups, okay? So some groups will simply get an email earlier or they basically get access earlier than others okay if you haven't received the email do not panic if you get your email very late or after the first deadline they will extend uh, the assignment deadline for you okay so once you have the email this is what you are supposed to do click on the email to open it uh, you'll notice that the the subject of this particular email is online product registration confirmation. Uh, it simply serves to confirm that your account has been created by UNISA. I have to emphasize this. You're not supposed to do anything to have your account created. The mere fact that you've uh, registered for EUP 1501 simply means that you will get this particular email uh, when they have created your account. Okay? Everyone will get access. If you get your email after the deadline, please relax. They will extend the, the deadline for you, okay? So, uh, this is the information that you need from this part or from this email. You need to get your username. So, it, this semester, your username is your student number dot unisa 2023.sim1, okay? After reading this information, just click on this button here. Uh, they click to login button. So after clicking this button, it will take you to this particular page here, okay? So since this is your first time, uh, try not to write your username and your password here. Just click on forgot, forgot your username or password. Click on this one here, okay? It will take you to this part here, okay? So you need to type in your email address and then after typing in your email address click send email uh, be careful not to type in your username here that's not what they are looking for okay so click on send email uh, after clicking on send email go back to your emails and check if you've got the the link to set or to reset your password okay okay so you see, uh, it tells you that, okay, your username or, pa username or password request has been sent. Uh, okay, so after sending that, go back to your emails and check your emails. Okay, so let me check my latest emails. Um, try to refresh your emails if you don't see your email. So if after you've refreshed your browser, uh, you still don't get the email, it is possible that your email is stuck on your spams, okay? Uh, it seems like Microsoft has decided to remove the, the spam uh, option here. Uh, and now it has something called quarantine and stuff. So to access that, now you will either get a, a, a pop-up menu somewhere here, or, and if you don't get the pop-up menu, what you should do is to open a new ta tab like I am doing now, and then type uh, uh, security.microsoft.com while your email is open, okay? Then uh, press enter, okay? Yeah, just wait for it to load. Okay. So now that it is done loading, uh, you'll see that I've got a list of emails that were prevented from going to my 
normal inbox okay uh, the reason for this quarantine here is that uh, these emails are coming like bulk email e emails so Microsoft is suspicious okay it thinks it might be a hack or something so to release your email to your normal inbox just click on it uh, select it select that email by checking this uh, checkbox here and then uh, click on release okay uh, okay so what does it say after saying that or oh, it will give you an option here to release the email okay click on release message and then you have to wait for it to finish okay it's still loading okay once it, it, it has finished sending the email to your inbox it will say message release to your inbox okay so that's basically it now we need to go back to our normal emails uh, and then check if uh, the email is there okay okay as you can see here I've received the email now just click on the email to open it okay so this is what it says uh, it tells us that we've received your your username password request blah 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 what you're supposed to do is to click on this reset here it will take it will open a new tab that's where you're gonna uh, change the password okay click on reset and wait for it to load I will say verifying link okay let's wait so once you get to this page just type in your new password uh, make sure that you remember the password that you're gonna use here uh, write the same password in these two options uh, under new password and under confirm password make sure that your password has five or more characters then click on change password okay this will appear then you can save that okay now it says your password has been changed this simply means that I can log in now okay um so after doing this you can click on sign in so once you get to this page just type in your username your username is your student number dot unisa 2023.sim1 okay then uh, type your your new password after doing that just click on sign in okay and then you wait um, so after clicking on that it will ask you where you're coming from so you need to write the name of your country after writing the name of your country you need to write your the month uh, of birth and the year of birth okay so type those two and then click on add and continue okay so let me do that just now so here i think they want the country uh, of the institution okay so you're gonna type south africa and here your month of birth you're gonna type your month of birth and your year of birth okay i've already typed mine and then click continue okay so once you've done that you definitely inside okay so now we are inside my lab so we're gonna enjoy ourselves here okay we're gonna get hundreds for all my lab assignments okay so where do we go to get the assignments okay you need to click on your on this name here aup 1501 dash uh, sim uh, one dash blah 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 okay so click on it and then wait for this to load Okay, so uh, after waiting a couple of seconds, uh, it will give you these options here. So we are only interested on the options here. Click on course material to get started. Okay, click and wait for it to load. Depending on your network, it might be slow, it might be fast. Okay. 
So this is where you will get your assignments. Your assignment 2 is based on Microsoft Word, okay? You'll find it here. So you need to you make use of these three dots here. Click on these three dots. Click on Open. Uh, after clicking on Open, it will take you... Okay, it will take you to this page here. Uh, so this is the actual assignment. Don't worry too much about this. Uh, you can use this to learn Microsoft Word, but this is the actual assignment, okay? So to begin with the assignment, you can, there are several options to use. You can click on this, uh, the text here, or you can click on these three dots here. I'm going to click on these three dots again, and then you'll see you have three options. You've got to open. This is where you're going to download your, your materials. You've got view submissions. So this is where you'll go after you've submitted. Uh, view submissions will show you where you went wrong, okay? So here you're going to use these two. The third one, I've never used the third one, but I'm, I've always got 100%, okay? Then click on open. Uh, wait for some minutes or seconds, depending on your network. And then you'll get to this page here. This is where you're going to find all your materials, okay? This is where you will download your materials. This is where you're going to submit your your files, okay? Uh, but uh, the fact that you've submitted something here doesn't mean that it has been processed. After uploading here, you need to click on this button here, Submit for Grading. So uh, uploading doesn't really mean you have submitted for grading, okay? So the first step here is to click on this one here. Uh, it will give you all your files, then download your files. You can download one by one, or you can download all of them. So if you click download all files, it will, it will be downloaded in a form of a zip file, okay? Um, if you've got a zip file, you need to extract your files when you, before you do your assignment, okay? After downloading this, just close it. And then you'll do your assignment. Then when you're done, you'll you'll click on this button here, choose file. So here, this is where you basically gonna upload your file, but you're not submitting, you're just uploading. Once you're done uploading, then you click submit for grading. That is when you'll you'll get your marks. Okay.